What's up, everybody? Viper here, back in uh, Miss Survival. And uh, currently we're on day five. And uh, since the last video, I went ahead and farmed some uh, some stones, some sticks, leaves, and feathers, and picked up the little bit of logs that I had around here. Um, I found all those sticks and all this stuff right around here. And if you drop your... Uh, graphics to uh, low it makes it easier for you to find this stuff just laying on the ground it doesn't look that great but uh, it's a whole lot easier to find especially these feathers are kind of a pain to find so just drop your uh, your foliage down and uh, it'll make it a whole lot easier to find that stuff alright so now we're gonna head back to uh, our actual base. I'm still sleeping up here so I can get a full night's sleep with Feather. But today I'm going to try to focus on uh, uh, getting some leather so I'm going to have to kill another bear. I have to build a tanning rack so I can uh, dry the, the hide. And then hopefully we'll harvest the I don't know, one or two chickens today, and then cook up some meat. Hopefully finish that uh, distiller so I can start making water. I mean, I still have enough sodas to last me a few more days, but might as well get the water started now. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to make some arrows in the next couple days before the... Uh, bow's done so when the bow's done I can go ahead and start raiding the uh, the bandit camps I do have firearms but there's no I'd rather use the bow over the firearms really all right coming up on my base or not really a base it's more like a just a little Shanty shack. I'm turning off the engine. Alright. I know I need rocks for. I think I just need rocks to finish off the. Uh, the piece from yesterday that I didn't finish. Get up there. Is that all I need? Oh, I need firewood too. Oh. I believe I got some firewood. Oh, nice. I already built a tanner rack. I forgot I built that. Alright, I need four firewood. I'm just going to split this. No, nah, I'll take it with me. I'll just drop it up there. And then I'm going to need to make some uh, some cans, some watering cans or buckets. I believe it's just uh, some of this stuff, some scrap and uh, components. Can't carry that much. I kind of like using the watering cans over the buckets, just because you don't have to spend the time to uh, um, it takes like two minutes to fill them up if you use the cans over the uh, buckets. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you when I go down to the water. Like for some reason I can't explain it right now. <laughs> Alright, so where's the cans at? You have buckets and you have watering cans. Oh, I need nails. I need to make something up so I don't keep hurting myself when I go up there. I don't need these rocks anymore, so I'm just going to dump them and some of the rest of this mess. Alright, should have enough stuff to make some nails. Do I have nails in here? I got 21. I might have enough already. Starting to get a decent stockpile of uh, feathers. 
And plus those chickens I'm going to harvest up here in a little while. That should give me uh, quite a bit for some arrows. Uh, watering cans. I'm just going to go ahead and make two of them because it's going to take me a bit to make those. And then... What else do we need? To make a leather, I need to... I need to kill that uh that bear. The bear is just easier to kill than the uh, deer, just because the deer run away. So I'd rather just kill a bear. All right, on the ground. While we're over there killing that bear, I'm also going to collect that other blue barrel, and then I'm going to fill that one up, so I can have a clean one and a um. One that has dirty water. I do have a bucket somewhere. Four chickens. I should have six somewhere. There's a bucket. But I'll, I'll be able to explain it when I'm actually doing it. When filling these up with water to explain why I'm using cans over the buckets. They do cost a little bit more to make. But I'd still rather use the... the watering cans. Alright, do I have any, uh... Yep. I have a weapon. Uh, just in case I need my gas can. Alright, let's see if I can get out of here. I think some of these trees respawned. Which is kinda crappy. Alright, so we're going to run over here to the bear. Hopefully the bear's there, and I don't have to go to the other spot. Whoops. Alright, up and over. And then go back and grab that blue watering barrel. And then we'll get some water, and then start distilling some water. All right, bear, where you at? Is he here? I'll probably go over there and grab that, uh, that wheel or that, uh, cog that's on the, uh, That's in that little trailer over there. Where's the bear? Alright, let's go hunt for him. I don't know if he's in the back or... Maybe he's not... I hope he's still there. Sometimes the bear will disappear for several days. Um, I hope that's not the case here. If he ends up chasing you, just keep running and uh, get on something high. Eventually he'll stop chasing you if you're not ready to fight him. Where's that little sucker at? Nah, he's playing hard to get today. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab this, uh, whatever you want to call it, cog or... I can't even think of the name right now. Gear. That's what it is. I, for some reason, could not think of that damn name for that gear. Alright, let's go over and uh, grab that uh, water bucket. Since we're over here. And then we'll go get that other... Um, the other bear at the other location. Oh, I almost didn't see that. 
another one of these uh, save points. Is this the first one I started at? Probably is. But I definitely want it because it has the uh, the ropes in it. So I don't have to make them over again. Alright, it's going to keep on this road. Hopefully I don't wreck my car. God, I need to make a car jack device soon. I might try to make that as well today. Go over this way. And straight, I think. Mm, maybe not. No. Nope. Wrong turn. It's around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Just drive through this little little gates. This isn't actually that bad of a uh, starting point as well. If you just want something different than a white house. And then open that up. I'm just going to put this blue barrel in the back of it. And then we're going to swing down by some water and then fill it up. And then go kill a bear. And there's some water down there I can get to. Easy. Just got to find a semi-safe path to get over there. I've never driven my car in the water, but apparently you can drive it out if you uh, just be careful. But I don't really want to test that theory right now. All right, reason I like the the cans over the uh, these watering cans over this bucket because for the bucket you got to go up to it and then hit V to fill it then you take your bucket you fill it which takes two minutes where these uh, watering cans you just hit your uh, whatever number you got it on in and then hit E fills it up immediately and hit E again and it fills it up and now I got 30 uh, 30 liters where I only get 10 for this stupid bucket just make sure it's not equipped in your hand so you can move it. And then uh, you go over to give it. it. Takes another two minutes to give it. So these two buckets that are four minutes is, you know, six minutes worth of buckets because it's 30 liters instead of 10. So that's why I like the uh, the watering cans over the buckets. You just you save just a little bit of time, not much. It's just you know, every little bit counts for me, really. And then now I need uh, thirty more liters, and it'll be full. And you don't have to wait till the the thing's actually out. You can uh, switch it and fill the other one up immediately. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill those up again. Just so I have water. And then, uh, might as well fill the bucket up too. I'll have to use this bucket to uh, drop off into the water first so I can have a nice clean bucket so I don't waste water. I mean, as the end of the supply of water, it's just I don't like to have to move it up all the time. All right, so now let's go kill a bear so we can get our leather. And then we can work on uh work on stuff at the base for a little bit.
it's hard to turn when you're trying to stop or make really sharp turns. Alright, we're just looking for a bear. And he's right there. Oh, those chickens are back. Nice. All right, chicken. Chicken's down. I'm gonna go ahead and get up here. So I don't have to worry about the bear. Here he comes. Hope I can hit him from up. Yeah, I can. Unless I'm fighting this bear with a bow or uh, like a shotgun, I'm not going to stand down the ground trying to fight him. So call it cheese, whatever you want. It works. So I'm going to go over here to him and then to harvest him. Damn, do I have a knife? Pretty sure I do. I'm going to turn my truck around too in case I have to get out of here for the mist. I don't want the uh, infected to be breaking up my uh, my vehicle if I can help it. Oh, I do have a knife. I had a knife on me. But you can, uh, if, if you hit this little... Uh, button here you can cycle through and you can find out whatever the is the best uh, at the job you want done for the most part it's either the knife or the uh, uh, machete so I'm gonna butcher this I might butcher a couple pieces of meat is that the mist coming in I don't know if that was a mist or not But one thing you can do, especially if you're really worried about the mist, is uh, crouch down when you do it. That way you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple pieces of meat. Thirty minutes, thirty minutes. So I can make some uh, some dry meat, just so I can show you what that is. Uh, let's make two more. I'm not sure how much salt I have. I don't think I have that much, but hopefully it's enough for at least a few of these. I'm not going to even worry about the oil or the, the fat because I'm not burning a lot of uh, fuel, so it's not like I really need a whole bunch of it. I mean, eventually I'll worry about that, but right now there's no real, there's no real use for me to have a bunch of fuel. I hear another chicken. Alright, so I'm going to go back to base. We're going to make up some food. Uh, start our water. Probably make up some arrowheads if I can. And hopefully a car jack device. I need that thing. I still got to figure out where I want to have a base. Um, I mean, this works for me for right now, but it's not something permanent, you know. All right, move this. And when you're messing with this water, you got to be careful of which one you're um, 
you know, which one's the clean water and safe water and be careful when you're doing that. Like, I'm going to use this one as my clean water and this one as my, my dirty water. And to distill, uh, you're going to need four. Split those, split those. You're going to need four bark. Uh, one match. I'm going to need, actually I'm probably going to need, I'm just going to grab this stack so I can put it in the, uh, the fireplace and grab this stack. Put some of these away. I'll probably have to come back and get some more scrap for something I'm going to make. Alright, what was I needing? Oh, firewood. Let me grab a couple of these. Just make some firewood. Oh, come on, dehydrated. Oh, yeah, I need salt. Oh, where's my salt? Oh, I got four. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. I'm going to put a couple of these little things up here if I can get them up there. Alright, get up there. Alright, so I got water in my hand. I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, firewood. Doesn't take that long to make firewood. I need to put this on this rack. Um, the leather. The animal hide. And then you'll be able to watch it go from, you know, up to 100%. So don't mess with it till it says 100% and then take it off. Uh, hopefully by the time the guts are dry, they're at 76%. So probably two more days. Hopefully the animal hide will be done at the same time. I should have got the animal hide a couple days ago, but I kind of forgot about it. Alright, for the distiller, um, I'm going to take this bucket and put it right there. And then I'm going to say 10 liters and hit give. And then I could take one of... should be able to take one of these. Oh, maybe I can't. Oh, no, that's not good. Alright, so then I'm going to take this bucket down here. Hit take. Yeah, that stupid box, I couldn't get up there without a, that thing there. Alright, so now I'm going to take 6 liters and put it in here. So it'll hold 16 liters. You don't have to put the whole thing in, um, but you can if you want. And it takes 4 firewood, 4 tree bark, and one uh, one match to light it. And then you just hit distill. And then... It'll take a little while for this to, to work, a day or so. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I'm just going to put half of this firewood in the fuel. And I'm going to take my entire stack of uh, tinder and put it here for the tinder. All my matches. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this low grade fuel in here. The reason I put that in there is you'll hit ignite. If you have low grade fuel, it'll light the first time. If you don't have the low grade fuel, it might take two or three lights before it'll actually light. So the low grade fuel, it'll be an instant light. Right, let me go get those potatoes. Because I'm getting hungry. They still here? Yep. Yeah. Potato, potato. Let's grab another soda. I like me some Cokes. Speaking of Coke, this video needs to hurry up in so I can get a, a Coke. Alright, we're going to make some... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it up here because I don't want to mess with the infected. But I'm going to make uh, two of these. 
So how much room do I got? Another good. Yeah, I got room for one more. All right, that was all my salt. Now, you might think you're ready to eat this stuff, but it still says raw on it. If you eat it right now, you're going to get food poisoning. So once you make this dried meat, you have to go over to your drying rack, and you got to put it, put it on the rack just like you did with the uh, animal guts. And then it'll take, I can't remember how much it takes, I don't know, a day, less than a day for it to completely dry out. And then you'll be able to eat it. And they supposedly fix the bug because you used to be able to just leave it on the, the, the drying rack. And supposedly they fix it where you can't, you can't leave it on there anymore. What did I do with that chicken? Did I forget to pick up that dead chicken? I think I did. Um, I need a chicken. I'm going to go ahead and uh, harvest one chicken. Yep, I forgot it. So I can get the meat and the feathers from it. And then I'll probably harvest these every day. At least harvest one of them. Because I don't really need a whole bunch of meat thrown on the ground. But when it's time for me to, you know, make sure I have enough arrows, I'll, I'll harvest them if I need to. But to harvest the chickens, you just go to harvest. And you put the chicken in there. You gotta have a knife. And then you hit harvest and it takes an hour. Alright, so for dinner we're gonna have some chicken legs, a steak, and maybe a baked potato. Alright, so we got some fat, we got some feathers, and we got four chicken legs. Alright, the fat, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you got a cooking pot, I'm going to go to render fat. And then I'm going to take this and put it over here. Normally I'll have two of these, uh, one for rendering fat and then one for uh, cooking. Because if you go to cook and render, you'll have to take out your, your can and if it's not full, it annoys me, so... I always like to have full cans, so I always just have one for each. All right, now I'm going to light it. Now I'm going to put this meat on here. And you hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but it, it sizzles when you put it on there. If it don't sizzle, then something may be wrong with your uh, the way it's cooking. So, like, I'll, I always light it, and then I put the chicken on. Or whatever I'm cooking. And then you got to kind of just sit there and wait for it. Um, I've never timed it. But Goblin Gaming has like timed it for steak or something. And he's got something on one of his tips and tricks. Where he puts so many uh, twigs or something. And it, it times it out just right. But I haven't got that deep in deep depth about... Uh, cooking food I don't I, I don't have a problem just sitting here waiting for it but I'm just waiting for it to turn oh that didn't turn okay and then these potatoes are about about out so I'm gonna probably eat them first but if you notice that chicken was it like 60% or something when I harvest it and it's it's uh, meat came back up to 99% or 100% or whatever it was with the potatoes, you gotta especially watch it because you're not gonna be able to tell they're done. They just say "well done," and then they go to burnt color. And this meat, you'll be able to tell just like this, uh, this the chicken that it's it's done. All right, so it's done now. I'm going to speed that part up because that was taking forever. And another byproduct from cooking stuff 
or using your fire is making charcoal. This stacks in uh, 16 and then when it's full it'll just start spitting it out everywhere so I always usually clean it out. But if you need charcoal for uh, gunpowder the barrels uh, it'll hold eight eight logs of fuel for like four hours and I just use those to uh, if I need a bunch of charcoal. Oh, I got two. Uh, man, I'm gonna need another uh, drying rack. Just go ahead and build another one. And I'm dehydrated again. Another tanning rack. This is probably gonna be all I'll be able to do today. Eight of those. What else do I need? I need nails and rope. Oh, I might not have enough rope. All right, to make rope, you need uh, leaves and uh, uh, bark. So I need at least one rope right now. How much room do I got in my inventory? Not much. I don't need these sticks. I don't need his firewood either. I keep the rest of the stuff for right the second. But I am. What time is it? I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple ropes. The rope is right here. So you need eight leaves and uh, six tree bark. I think I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to go get some more bark for uh, my bow. And I'm gonna need to make some nails. Is that a full stack? Full stacks. All right, it's getting dark. It's only 18:51, so I still got a little bit of time. Not much, but. I'm going to go ahead and make, uh, I'm just going to make 16 for now. Finish that build up. And then I'm going to eat and, uh, probably head over to my, uh, nighttime spot. drop this mess it's getting dark out here it's so scary at night I really don't worry about the dark until uh, it gets around 19 20 hundred and then I start really being concerned with it I'm probably gonna have to collect some more leaves and uh, bark tomorrow I'll probably collect the leaves off camera so you don't have to watch that again. Probably take a chicken with me so I can uh, carve that while I'm before I go to bed tonight. And anything else I was going to do today? See, it's 14% on the dried meat, so probably a full day will get it done. And this one is 10% after only a few hours. But I need the leather so I can make uh, this tactical quiver. I don't even bother making these other ones unless I want them for decoration. Because the tactical quiver will hold three. And this one will hold two. And this one will only hold one set of arrows. So you can hold 24 arrows in the tactical quiver. And it doesn't really cost that much over the, the regular le leather quiver. An extra sewing kit and uh, two more of those, but it does need components and tape. But I got all that, so I ain't really worried about it. But uh, my hunger bar is over here by the G. I'm going to go ahead and eat a potato just so you can see 
that they're they're pretty worthwhile to use. So it, you know, it filled it up like an eighth of it. So I see a lot of people throwing away potatoes, but they're actually pretty good to eat. And a regular meat will just fill your bar completely up. Drink a soda. Sodas give you quite a bit as well. Check the distiller. All right, we got 1.62. So by tomorrow, I'll start be able to start filling up those uh, water bottles and carry around a water bottle. And I won't have to worry about the sodas anymore. I'll probably still drink them just to get rid of them. And then I'll save the, uh, the sprites or whatever you want to call them. And I don't need to take this uh, water bottles over there. So I'll put these up in here. Put my feathers up. And I got quite a bit of feathers already. Actually, I think I'm going to take all those chickens and just, just go ahead and gut them all. When I get up into our, my little safe spot for the night. Get rid of this, these sticks. Get rid of these leaves. And then I'll keep the food on me and then I'll eat whatever I need. Alright, it's 8 o'clock. I need to be heading back over to my uh, safe spot. Wherever you set up, as long as it's you're you in a safe location where the the night infected can't get to you, it is, it doesn't really matter. But if you have a hard time sleeping, like a full night sleep, uh, you might want to consider using something like the. Uh, well, I almost drove in the lake. I normally don't like driving at night, but if you have a hard time sleeping. Especially till you get like walls around your entire building. That water tower where I go to sleep at by the White House. Um, it lets you sleep most of the night. You'll probably get woken up once when they first show up. But after that, you know, that you'll get the six, seven, eight hours. And you need a good night's sleep so you can, uh, your fatigue bar fills up. So you can, uh get your stamina back faster. Alright, you're seeing a nighttime drive. The good old bandit camp. Try to avoid a couple trees. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, park my car, drop the lights. You turn it off. And then I'm going to get up in my safe space and uh, harvest those chickens and uh, call it a night, I guess. Alright, so that's pretty much going to wrap up day five. Tomorrow we're going to Probably make some arrows, some arrowheads. Uh, doing all this crafting kind of sped up the day, so it's just only so much you can do to get these uh, NPCs to free up some of your time. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.